Hi, I'm Chris Witzkall, and I'd like to show how easy it is to program the Belmar MC618 Max Charge Regulator using a smartphone or tablet through our Bluetooth gateway on the SmartLink network. This is a demo system, and I've got a color display, I've got a Bluetooth gateway, of course the MC618, and a smart shunt. Uh, the minimum system required to be able to do what I'm going to show you is a smart shunt, of course the regulator, and the Bluetooth gateway. I've got a phone right now, or sorry, a, a color display right now, and I've taken the liberty of already connecting to the phone app, as you can see here. So this is showing the devices on the network, and at the bottom you'll see the MC618. So I'll just tap on that, and it's going to go ahead and uh, take a few moments, and it's going to list out uh, the real-time uh, parameters or data off of that regulator. Okay, and here's the real-time data. You'll see the battery voltage, the calcula calculated target voltage, this is what we're trying to reach uh, in the current stage, which is also showed down here as calculated bulk. And we're showing the max field output um, in uh, gray letters and act the actual field out output in black letters. Uh, and then uh, temperature um, uh, settings of the different probes. So if I want to program, I'm going to hit the three bar uh, menu, click on settings, and this will give you uh, an overview of the basic settings that are available to program on the uh, regulator in basic mode. So it's, it's the battery type, the field output max, uh, smart link ID, so if you've got a two regulator system, you can change one of them to be B or A, um, and then change the display and advisory information shown on the display. What we're going to be doing now is going into the advanced programming. Uh, by the way, if you click on battery type and you've already done some advanced programming and you program this battery type again, you're going to overwrite all of those changes you might have made in advanced programming. So just be careful about that. Okay, so it's going to give you a warning basically saying, hey, um, you know, you can make changes that could potentially cause damage if you overcharge batteries and such. So uh, read the warning, and if you agree, go and click on the checkbox and then click OK. And this is all the settings that are available in the, current, in the regulator um, with the three-letter codes, which you can see on the display up here, and also in our manual for ease of reference. Uh, if you want to change any of these, let's say I want to change uh, the float voltage here. I'm going to lower that a little bit, so I'll just back up one and change it to 13.4. Click on Save. That, that does not actually save it to the device yet. Um, I can change other values here as I see fit. Um, start delay, let's say I want to have a longer delay, so I'll add a zero, so it's 10 seconds. And click on Save. Once I've made the changes I want, just go down to the bottom, click on Next, and next you'll see all of the same uh, settings, but it'll show you the ones you've changed. So the ones you change are in bold here, start delay, and float voltage. It shows the original value and the value you're changing it to. So this lets you verify all the settings you want before you do anything else. Once you've done here, you can actually save the settings file, or from this screen you can load a settings file. So this is great if you're trying different um, parameters uh, on your system and want to swap back and forth between them, uh, you can do so easily here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click on Program Device, and that's going to basically take all of those settings, uh, the ones I've changed and everything else, of course, uh, and go ahead and save them to the regulator. At some point, you can see SAV here up on the display. That says they've been saved. And a, and a few moments later, uh, the app will kick back in and allow you to view uh, the settings again and go back into real-time data. So that's really all you got to do to make changes here from the app. Now you can also do basic settings from the display. So if I click on the button here and hold it, I'm going to get a menu option down at the bottom. Well first I'm going to go and select the 618, sorry, and you can see that. I'm now looking at the MC618 and those are the voltages. It shows all that same basic real-time data that you saw on the phone app. But I'm going to go down here to Menu, and to Config, and you can see I changed the back battery type and the max field. So these are the two items you can change from the display. And this is useful if you're, you know you've got a basic simple setup, you're not going to be tweaking the regulator, you just want to select your chemistry and go. You actually don't need the phone app for this, you can do it merely with the smart shunt and the display and the MC618. 
But this is also nice, you can change max field right from here, which is probably the most requested thing that people wanna change other than the battery type. So I can go, for instance, and change it to 90, and it's gonna go ahead and do a program. You can see it's saving right here in the regulator, uh, and uh, a similar process to what's done on the phone. And we're off and running. Does a little verification, and then I can go back and exit, and I'm back at showing the real-time data from the display. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you today. I hope this is helpful. Uh, any questions, please contact uh, Belmar's tech technical support. We're always there to help. Thank you.